Hey everyone, just trying to clear out some of the old garbage, kind of organize things uh, down here. Um, you know, just like go through things. Wow, what is this? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, I remember. Wow, this thing's got to be four years old, right? Came out in 2020, the GPD Win Max. You guys remember that, right? Like four years ago? Oh, what have we got on this guy? Ooh. What's that intro going on there? I remember where, where that was uh, Donkey Kong Country from uh, Super Nintendo, right? Steam Deck? What? What is this? Is this Steam OS on a GPD Win Max from 2020 and running on an Intel processor? No, that can't be either. That's possible. No way. Right. Steam OS is only for AMD processors. There's no way that that's true. How, how could this possibly be? It's got to be Steam big picture mode right i'm gonna get out of window get out of this get back into windows right i i, I don't how what is how what is how is this possible how Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the GPD Win Max 2020. And these old laptops are aging, as they're from about four years ago. And when they originally came out, they had a 10th gen uh, mobile Intel processor in them. And for that time, it was a pretty revolutionary device. Coming off of the Win 2 with its uh, underpowered processor. These devices were a little bit larger, had a larger keyboard, and still retained the built-in controls that GPD Win devices were known for. When these came out, I loved these devices. They were the only ones of their kind. Recently, lots of developers have been doing a lot of work trying to get Linux-based Steam clients to run on all kinds of hardware. One particular distribution called Bazette, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, a link to uh, their website will be in the notes below. So if you're looking to read more information about uh, their new Linux distro and how it can work and what devices it can work on, please follow the notes down below and you'll uh, get to their website. You can download the ISO for whatever device that you may be wanting to put this on. But today, we're just gonna take a look around the operating system just to get everybody a brief look at what this Steam OS based Linux distribution can do for their older devices. Now, this device obviously has the ability to download any of my Steam library games. However, obviously it is a little underpowered in the GPU area and it's not going to be able to play all of these games. Is it going to be able to play Battlefield 5? No. Is it going to be able to play World of Warships? No. Is it going to be able to play lots of emulated games through Emulation Station and Emudeck? <laughs> you betcha. And it will also be able to play some of the older classics that are still available on Steam and are probably on sale, uh, for that matter. In addition to those, it's going to be able to play newer indie titles like Domekeeper or one of my favorites lately, which has been Shredder's Revenge. Now, obviously, I have this set up uh, just so that we can take a look at the frame rate in the top left hand corner. You'll see that uh, if you can't see it, we're locked at 60 frames per second uh, throughout the UI. Most of the controls are all working. We can get into our menus correctly. We are able to get into the quick access menu. Uh, most of these things are all going to work. Uh, I've even installed Decky Loader in order to add some CSS loaders, uh, some obviously some custom animation 
uh, startup animations. And obviously I've got a bunch of different ones that are installed here. These are some of my favorites. What is not working on the device at the moment is, of course, TDP control. Now, TDP limits and TDP control is something that is very specific to AMD architecture. And to my knowledge, there are no plugins or um, any type of management software on Linux at the moment that has the ability to manage TDP on the Intel processors. So for now, uh, we are limited to controlling TDP via the BIOS. But the great thing about the GPD Win Max is that the BIOS had built-in controls for TDP. You can set this to stay at 18 watts and always be at 18 watts so you know what your power draw is going to be. You can edit, to, edit the BIOS to keep the TDP at whatever limit you'd like, or you can allow it to spin up to its maximum TDP uh, at 30 to 35 watts. So while it is a little cumbersome to adjust that TDP rebooting the device and in the BIOS, it can be done and you can get pretty good battery life as long as you keep those TDPs low. Now, I don't know if how many of you will remember, but four years ago, the Fox gave us a lot of information on where this processor sits and what your best bang for your buck is with TDP. If you guys don't remember, I'll tell you that he said that 18 watts was the sweet spot where your diminishing returns for more TDP uh, are a little bit above that wattage and you're not really getting all you could out of this processor if you limit the TDPs lower than 18. So that's what we have this device set to via the BIOS right now and it does pretty well. As you can see, uh, Shredder's Revenge uh, is installed here. I have played it only a, a, a little bit on this device just for testing, but you will see that it loads up fine. It boots into the game without a problem. The audio works. It's locked at 60 frames per second and the controls are working great. Uh, I did play for a little while and I've got to tell you, it is a great experience on this screen. You know, the screen is only uh, 1280 by 800, but remember, that's what our Steam Deck screen is at. And in addition to that, it is locked at 60 frames per second. So it's a completely smooth experience. Now, I'm not going to go through the trouble of having you watch me play because obviously you can tell that this is not going to have a problem running this game. But all of the kinds of, uh, you know, light, indie, or retro games are going to run well on the GPD WinMax 2020 running SteamOS. The interface is the, same, is the same as it is on the Steam Deck, and we can exit and enter games just as we do uh, on there. Now, you'll see also that I have Emulation Station installed here, and it is running, and it is working. And this is the best way to go if you're looking to play uh, retro games on your devices. I can tell you that everything up to PlayStation 1 is going to play just fine. All of those retro consoles are going to play, play great. Um, the device is going to start to struggle a little bit with a Nintendo GameCube and PS2. And if you're looking to do Switch emulation, which I know is a little bit of a hot button right now, but I can tell you that this device is not the device to be emulating the Switch on. It's simply not going to be able to handle that kind of requirement from the GPU. So our retro consoles were great. PSP, everything from Atari all the way up to PS1 will work fantastic. Sorry guys, let's get out of here. So you see that it runs pretty smoothly, it runs pretty well, and um, you know we can get in and out of our games and our libraries very well. Lots of the lighter titles that we have will work very well. And what's great about this device is that it is a full-fledged laptop. So when we switch to the desktop on the GPD Win Max 2020, not only are we getting a desktop environment, but we have a full-fledged Linux laptop here right with an ethernet port and wi-fi a regular browser a full keyboard so we can do anything we want and the trackpad which in addition also works 
the controls if you like to use the controls for mouse movement they also work in Linux all of this hardware is set up and working within Bazit Linux OS now there are going to be limitations you don't have the kind of power you would normally see uh, from a modern console but for a light desktop environment for light indie games these older GPD WinMax devices can be found with a great price if you're looking to put SteamOS on an inexpensive device that you can also use as a laptop with a full keyboard. So I'm sure you guys are going to have a bunch of questions about this. Leave the questions down in the, down in the comments below. I will try to answer them as best I can. I'm not this obviously is not a tutorial on how to install this onto your um, GPD Win Max. If that's something you're interested in, let me know, and I can uh, maybe I'll put a little video together, uh, kind of letting people know how to do that. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope it was informative. I hope you've seen something here today that you haven't seen anywhere else. And we will catch you on the next one.